Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. So, welcome back on my video session today. In today's video session, right, we are gonna be talking about this incredible, amazing looking PC. This is not a normal PC. As you can see, I found the picture. Okay, this is a Fujitsu WD dash G4 slash E2. This is the model of the system. And about this machine, right? We know here is a desktop, but it's a it's a pretty small one. Okay, you'll understand when I go through this video, all right? Here you can see it's a monitor, but what is it actually displaying here? It's displaying a game, but why is he showing that? But just to don't tend to show that kind of stuff, do they? They keep on talking about work pieces. Let me clear something before going through this video. If you look at the Intel UHD graphics and Intel UHD 630 graphics, there's few other companies, right, which used them GPUs, right, even even less than that one, right. They actually showed us that gaming can be played on these kind of integrated GPU. All right? And the higher they are, the more better they are. All right? That's absolutely true. The higher they are, the better they are. All right? And we just do on the other side. I don't know what the heck these companies are talking about, but they tend to use the Intel UHD graphics, right? For only work. When these GPUs are very sophisticated to play PC games and PC emulators, they're just totally ignoring all that. When these integrated GPUs are really impressive, I mean, even from Intel, from their own information, they go, it's, it's good for streaming HD movies, right? From 720p, 1080p, and even 4K videos. And on top of that, it gives you high perform performance for gaming pre performance. High performer? Yeah. For gaming, it's high performance, but I don't know what for just is talking about here, man. They're totally ignoring all that. And they're just turning these integrated GPUs into just work pieces. I don't totally agree with that because it's not true. I have used these integrated GPUs. You can have an i5. I see call. They're really good on it, but I think I'm just need to get their facts right here because they are really good. Anyway, so let's go through this PC, what they're showing, what I'm showing you today. This literally is a RTX 2060 and 2080 gaming PC. Yeah. Made by Vegistu. Very convincing, isn't it? Take a look at that screenshot. This guy has a, a beautiful Vegistu monitor and a desktop. This is a small one, 
using a mouse and keyboard and playing this game. And graphically, it looks stunning because it's using RTX 2018 there. That's the highest one you can put in there. And this system is very really impressive for that. So let's go further. Workstation based reality. Wow. The WD dash G forward slash E2 is a work based model designed to meet high end demands. All right. Environments for business and the tenth gen ten generation integral i seven processor. Okay, with eight cores. Uh, like SSD large capacity, sixty four GB DDR four memory. All right. Then it goes about 3 TB times 2 HDD. Powerful graphics. Not only does it provide comfortable, usable to everyday use, but it's also excellent performance without any gaps, but also responds powerful to gaming and creative application. See now, this company is talking about just it's a RTX based system. Now they're talking about gaming, but for many years, right? People have been using very low priced PCs, right? Without even a video card. They've been using Intel, Intel's integrated GPUs, right? And they've been doing really well in gaming. Yeah, they have. They even can play more on gaming. I mean, Intel UHD 620 graphics and Intel UHD 630 graphics. They're really good for modern gaming as well. Once you do the settings, it's not just like you're just going to be doing, you know, work, web browsing, email, edit documents, or we're just doing printouts. No, it does more than that. Very disappointing for a company. Is totally ignoring gaming on them integrated GPUs. Okay, let's just carry on with this. This is a really, really powerful system, by the way, for your gaming and your graphic design needs, which I think is really good. There you go, GeForce RTX. It's in this system, alright? If you're looking for a really powerful system, then this is the one to go for. especially if you're into port portable yeah you're not gonna be able to use something like this are you but, but this is just in the home isn't it that you're gonna be able to use this system well I'm not saying it's bad but it's excellent but in terms of this company they are ignoring the integrated GPUs for gaming right and all the high performance tablets they made, right? They keep on saying that they're just for work. That is not true. Because if you see my recent video on um, Fujitsu Stylistic Q704 Windows 10 tablet, right? That has an Intel i5 core. And 4 GB RAM and uh, Intel HD 4400 GPU in there. That is a really good system for gaming. Yeah, of course it is. But we used to even classify that system is just for work. What a strange company, man. I don't say that.
because I already own a desktop right with Intel i3 core so it's a less CPU and then I've got system RAM is 4 GB it's the same there and then I've got GPU which is Intel HD 4400 it's same there but in my system I've got less CPU which is Intel i3 core even that system can play really good PC games it can play old and modern games and even it's very sophisticated to, to play 1080p HD PC simulation. So you gotta understand that as well. Okay, let's not get too much into that now. Okay, Equ equipped with high performance graphics. Okay, Ooh. graphics performance that determines the quality of images and videos, especially in 3D games. I do agree with that because this is a RTX, by the way. The difference in performance becomes clear. Okay. The WD-G4-E2 is equipped with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. Okay. Or NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics. Okay. There you go. For cross performance. These are the sizes. Okay. I wonder. These are must be the millimeters, yeah. Well, they can't be centimeter inches. That big, can it? <laughs> the numbers are too high. Okay. I hope you seen all that. World's small class space saving design really tower all right space saving design all right that's a pretty good good idea because it's pretty small and you'll get a lot of space wherever you're going to be putting it okay they're saying the installation area is comparable to a4 paper all right Must be the full size when you put it down. Yeah. Not when you make it stand up. What well, they're trying to say, like, you know, the, the whole tower, when you place it down on the paper, that's like A4 size, all of it. A crypto high end graphics board, in addition to a powerful specification. Okay, nice. It's good for development for PC or business as well. Right. Three different panels. Well, that's a bit lame. None of them are bloody 4K. You got 21.5, 19, 20 times 1080, 23.8, 19, 20 times 1080, 27. 2560 times 1440. These are the inches. Alright. You got a really beautiful, vivid, high definition large screen. Okay. Okay, so it was also saying that you can rotate the screen to 90 degrees to display vertically. Wow. Okay. We'll go into that bit later on. I will be showing you all the more details. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm actually ignoring all that. There are many other attractions that you usually get in PCs, by the way. Alright, take a look at that. Come on, have a unprecedented PC experience. 
We just do gaming PC, man. Check it out. Something really huge. That would just do normally. Does it do? That's the full set from the monitor. The monitor looks really careful about it. it. Looks really nice, but from edge to edge. Desktop, mouse and keyboard. Everything is from Fujitsu. They made a whole set. Alright. So let's take a look what they showed here. Change the configuration according to purpose. Oh, okay, it's configuration. Custom menu. You could do that, you could customize it yourself. I'm not really gonna go into Okay, now we're gonna go into the details. That we just mean missing. We're gonna go to each one of them. Right. Here we go. So this one is about work based reality. So you look into that first. Oh, it comes down. I didn't say that. I thought it was going to change menu or something. Right. High performance without compromise. CPU. It's good to show information like that rather than just speaking. Speaking away. It just makes the video really boring, doesn't it? Like that. Right. So this is an 8 core. Right. We're going to make it pretty fast. 10th generation. Okay, CPU power. It's the i7 10700 processor. Okay, excellent high performance for high load work such as video encoding and video editing. They really actually have made it for that, eh? the way we're looking at it. There's the differences. Into i7 is 461%, and into i5 is 416%. So there is an improvement. <laughs> into Celeron, what is only 100%. Right. These are the CPUs you can select. All right. And these are the NVMe SSDs. All right. So this SSD. Oh my gosh! Check this out. The SSD. 12 14% HDD 100% poor designed to maximum the performance the SSS, SSD storage all right very fast Didn't expect I will do something like that, eh? and these are the selectable SSDs 1 TB 512 256 GP Okay, the DDR4 memories in there. Okay, these are supposed to be depending on your model how much memory is in there. Okay, the more memories, the better it is. We'll take a look at this. Everything is on this system is very very high speed, isn't it? Now DDR4 is 23.4 GB for slash S. DDR3 is only 
8 GB for slash S wire. So DDR for memory is 64, 32, 16, and 8 GBs. All right. Roy will close I know Yes, it's now the RTX twenty eighty. Check this out. So there's two of these. In the, you can choose which one you want of these. Tuning architecture, the all new RTX graphics platform. Okay. With real time ray tracing. All right, you get all that. Immersive games with high quality graphics display. Right, the one I was talking about, Intel UHD Graphics 630. It's still kind of good, even the bottom one, I would say. I wouldn't say it's too bad. Not at all. It's not bad at all, because when you're going to test the bottom one for yourself, it does a lot, a lot of good things. Rather than just looking at the chart they're showing you on this screen. It is still reliable, because if you don't have much money, to spend the Intel USG Graphics 630 is still good for your modern gaming. But when they talk about the R NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 and R NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, these are really expensive PCs and not many people can afford them. So, I mean, even reading all this information that is giving you all these percentages, let's just take a look at this. So, we've got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. 15.44% NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 11.38% and then NVIDIA oh sorry U, Intel UHD Graphics 630 is 100% only but yeah but I know it's really high percentage what this GPU gives you but it even depends on the person if he's got that kind of money if he hasn't he'll be Stuck on Intel USD Graphics 630. Don't get me wrong, even the bottom one, which is the last one, the third one on this list, it's still good for gaming, alright? Alright, it might be not good as that on NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Okay, I agree with that. It wouldn't be good as that, but still, it's still reliable and it gives you fair amount of FPS for your gaming. It still be really good, okay? So don't think too much like that. I wouldn't anyway. And then it goes combined with Xbox Game Pass. Busy, I'm not really into that. I don't really care about Xboxes, man. If you got a PC, why do you need to discover Xbox? Game Pass will be easy. I don't know why they do these kind of silly things. It's probably the Xbox owners care. PC gamers wouldn't care huh? anything about this. When the machine is more powerful, any? Who cares? About checking the operation of the game, we are checking, okay, popular games on. This model WD G forward slash E2. Alright. Romance of the Three Kingdom T. Okay. They're actually showing you this game. Uh, I've never actually heard of this game. 
So it's like a more like a strategy game. Because strategy games need like a much powerful GPU to have a great performance. Alright. Let's go back to the top. Yeah. That one's covered now. So let's see the actual size. All right, even goes I can choose a lot capacity storage configuration. That's about three TB HDD times two. You have to have two of the HDDs to get to three TB. That's what he's saying. All right. Right. So if you do large amount of data of you know such as photos, videos, CGI, CG stuff like that. Now this is more interesting. Right. What? Check this out. What the heck? It's saying that. Uh, okay. When we look at the first SSD, that's the internal memory. All right. Okay. In the internal memories, you can have 1 TB, 5, 12 GB, 256 GB. Alright, that's all in your internal memory, okay? What you're storing internally, like your brain is already in there, and then whatever your photo, videos, your games, whatever, and your work, all in there, internal memory. And then it's giving you options the second HDD. These are both hard drives. Not SSDs. In the second option, you got HTD1 and HTD2. But this is pretty incredible. But when we look at the second HTD1, we can put in 3 TB HTD. Wow. And then in the second HTD2, again, you can put another 3 TB. HTD, how much memory is that? Wow! If you add HTD1 and HTD2, you got 6 TB of HTD memory, man! Wow! Incredible! And then on the internal memory, you choose from one of these options. Alright? Very impressive. Okay, something about keyboard and stuff like that. I can't actually read out what that says. Right. Front side collectors pull that easy way. Every day I use. So uh, this is about all the ports that you'll find on the front, okay? For easy access with USB Type-C port and headset. Let's take a look at this. It's a really beautiful design. Desktop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay. That must be the drive 
this must be for the storage and this can be for your you know when you put the memory cards the card reader it's for that that's the power switch then you got USB times 4 you got 4 USB ports here right. then you got USB type C very nice Large graphs card in a compact body. <laughs> okay. There's the RTX. It actually fits in there. It's actually showing you in the diagram where it is. Can you see where it says GeForce RTX? That's where the video card goes. Very nice. You don't normally get PCs designed this way, do you? The way they're done in one line. I've never seen a case like that before. Very clever for these two companies. Right, so. Now the displays, mm, one of the interesting bars, isn't it? For your high resolutions. Here we go. So the 27 inch uh, monitor is the biggest display they're showing you on this website. Let's take a look at this. Their monitors are really high performance, I'll tell you that straight. Alone their monitors are just one of the best in the in the industry, I'll tell you that. In my opinion, they're one of the greatest monitors you'll ever buy for your money. That's guaranteed. And you got 23.8 inch. Okay. Showing the A4. A4 paper, you can fit on this screen. 21.5. Hey, 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 where you go? This is just a more like a landscape display. There's not much more you can do with this size because it's a pretty small size. Suppose multiply displays. All right. They actually are about the. Okay, hold on. Okay, this one is a multiple display of using 27 inch. All right. Wide LCD display. Well, that is why they used a 27 inch, didn't they? That looks wow looks impressive you see it's the way the the casing of the the curve is made onto it so you get this kind of viewing angle out of it it's very very impressive indeed you now I would definitely recommend a 27 inch we're looking at really large screen size isn't it twenty-seven plus 27 with two displays will give you a very large display in it in front of your face man oh blimey <laughs> three displays for just to just kills it the way it looks nice from the round 180 degree right in front of your face man check it out man you can't beat them in ya Then you got two simple setups. This showing you got setups. It's really good. If a person doesn't know how to do a setup, you, now you can see from this website how you can do it. 
There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Right, now we're going to go into more information. Let's go into the color. Here we go. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, uh, okay. So front and back. I couldn't read that, could I? <laughs> it's in Japanese language. Right. Now this is really interesting to know what's at the front of this system. Here we go. Number one, optical drive, which is this one, all right. Number two, built-in wireless LAN. Bluetooth wireless technology combined antenna is about here, all right. It's not this, all right. It's here. Number three, disc eject button. Here, oh, they're using like a laptop style, isn't it? Oh, that's strange. Wow, number four forced take out hole it's around about here. All right, number five power button. You can't miss that. It's there. Number six, number six disc access lamp. Which is this one? All right. Number seven, microphone, or slash headphone. Which is this one? It's a combi, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, combined. Number eight. Shouldn't go too much away. Is a USB 2.0 Type A connector, which is this one. All right. Number nine is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A connector. Which is this one. Okay. Now you can understand this, right? Number eight, right? This top part the first line is USB 2.0 and the second line is USB 3.0 okay you got two of each and number 10 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C connector Which is this one that you find in smartphones and tablets? They included that as well. Very nice. We're not gonna go right now to bottom yet. We've got more to see yet. I want to flex like that. Back part of the system. Well, every system has that, doesn't it? First, we wouldn't go too down. Now we. Right. 
Number one, inlet. Which is where you put your power cord. Number two, lining. Which is this one. Number three, line out. Which is this one. You know, that's the connectors you have line in, line out. Sorry about that. Number four, virtual link connector. Which is over here. About there. Okay. Number five, display port connector. Which is this one. Number six. Right. USB 3.2 Type A connector. This one. All right. That's Gen 2, by the way. So the next one is USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A connector, which is this one. They got speed differences, okay? The like Gen 1, Gen 2, okay? But they're both on the version 3. Now we need to go back down. Right, number 8 again is a USB 2.0. Which is this one? There's a lot of USB ports here on this system, really. Number nine is a LAN connector, which is this one. So your internet wired connection, by the way. And number ten is an anti theft lock mounting hole, which is this one. And number 11 is a built in wireless LAN, which is hold on. Now, here I can't really see that clearly. Sorry about that. Number 12. By the way, it's a built-in LAN, Bluetooth wireless technology. It's a combined antenna, okay? And the number 12 is HDMI output. Let's take a look at number 12 as well. Uh, hold on, let me show you that one. Uh, right. It's mentioning something about GeForce RTX 2060 there, I don't know when. Right, there is number 12. It's here, all right. So that part is quite clear, not really. Where they? There we got number thirteen is DVI-D connector, which is uh, all right. Out uh, here, so must be that one. All right, must be that one. Okay, and I think that should do it for that part. Yeah, now I'm gonna go right to the top and turn it back to the front because that's the main part of it. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the name of each part liquid crystal display. Click on the surface LC display you want to see select. Okay, this is a 27 inch LCD display. We're going to name the parts on this one. Alright, 
There's a lot of lot of information on this thing. I can't believe it just skips it like that so fast. Crazy, doesn't it? And this part, right? And is from the front, which is the number one is a power lamp, which is here. Number two power button is here. Number three brightness is here. Number four volume button is here. Number five mode button is here. Number six the brightness sensor. Number seven is an input button. Number eight is an echo button. Number nine is the menu button. Let's see on that part. Now let's. That must be the back part of the monitor now. This is a 27 inch one, by the way. Yeah, let's take a look at this one at the back. What we get from here, uh, you get and all this stuff from the back of the monitor. Number one is the speaker. Uh, where are the speakers on this? I think it's right at the top of the. Number one is the speaker. Number two is the USB down connector type C. Okay, oh well, that's oh, sorry about that. Number one, these are the speakers here. Number two is a USB down connector, which is you look at this, it's a size, so it's one up there. Number three is a USB down connector type A. Number two is Type C, number three is type A, number four is an anti theft locking mounting hole, which is this one. Number five is a LAN connector. Let's quickly go. These ports, they're at the bottom of the monitor, all right? So you're not going to be able to see them in the picture. So that's why they put another part to it here. So number five is the LAN, number six is the USB down type A number 7 is USB up connector type B number 8 yeah number 8 is USB up connector type C number 9 headphone output which is this one number 10 Display port connector, okay. That's number 10. Let's go further now. There's just two more to go now. Um, hold on, it's too much information, isn't it? Number 11 is this one a display port? All right, number 12. Is a HMI connector, which is this one. All right. Number thirteen is a power connector. Uh, where's number thirteen? Yeah, there. That's number thirteen. That's a power connector. Where you put your power cord in there? <laughs> so it powers up the monitor. Okay, that's what that's what that is. Okay, that part's done now. Right. Well, all the monitors are all color are black, by the way. That's why I didn't mention that too much. Right. Let's quickly go through this. It's got less post, hasn't it? Number one, power lamp. Number two, power button. Number three, brightness button. Number four, volume button. Number five, mode button. Number six, input button. Number seven, echo button. Number eight, menu button. Okay, let's do this. 
Another back part. Copy this. Now we number one speaker. Number two stand over board. Number three anti bed. Where is it? Over there. Number four headphone jack. Right. Number five audio input. Those up there. Number six analog RGB connector. Is this number six? Number seven DVD connector. Which is that one? Number eight display port. Which is this one? Number nine power connector. Okay. That's it for that one. Now we go to the smallest one, that was 23.8 inch one. Now we'll go for the 20 1.5 inch. Well, there are quite a lot of bones on this one as well. Right, number one power lamp, number two power button, number three. Brightness button, number 4, volume button, number 5, hold button, number 6, input button, number 7, echo button, number 8, menu button. Number 1, speaker, number 2, anti-theft, okay, number Three because it's at the bottom, so it goes at number three headphone jack, number four audio input, number five RG analog RGB connector, all right, number six DVID connector, number seven display port connector, number eight power connector. And that's all you get from this one. Okay. That's it for that information, by the way. So, hope that you guys like that. So the color of this, right, is from the desktop to all the monitors, right, it's all black. It's only just one color. Okay? Specification. The best part, isn't it? Right. This is all the basic model you actually get selected if you do. Anyway, here we go. So you got Windows 10 Home 64 bit edition in this. So this is the operating system in there. The CPUs you can select is Intel Core i7 10700 processor, Intel Core i5 10500 processor. Alright, you get that. So these are the frequencies you get. Okay, and these processors, and this is the number of cores, process threads, which is you can see in the i7 you get eight cores, was last sixteen threads. I5 you get six cores, was last twelve threads. 
and then you get the cache memory in the i7 you get 16 MB, i5 you get 12 MB chipset in both is Intel Q470 chipset Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? So this is a memory. This is a system RAMs. All right. Okay, we go. 64 GB, 16 GB times 4, 32 GB, 8 GB times 4, 16 GB, 8 GB times 2, 8 GB, 4 GB times 2. Okay. So the maximum you can put in this system is 64 GB. Whoa, 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 where are you going, man? Now, the graphics accelerators are, or I already told you, it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, right. video memory. Everybody actually knows that because if you got NVIDIA GT, you got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080, you got 8 GB in that. If you got GeForce RTX 2060, 6 GB in that. Okay. This is a displays. So it's 27, 23.8, 21.5. Screen sizes you can select from. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. The resolutions from these these ports. Display display port maximum is seventy sixty times forty three twenty thirty hertz maximum sixteen point seventy seven million colors. Okay. HDMI maximum is fourteen ninety six times twenty one sixty maximum sixteen point seventy seven million colors. DVI-D is maximum is 2560 times 4040 60 hertz maximum 60.77 million colors basically all the the colors will be the same but the maximum resolutions you get is a display poor will give you a maximum HDMI comes at the second position and DVD comes at the third position huh? The SSDs, as I already told you, is 1 TB, 5, 12, 256 GB. Okay, won't go too much into that. Storage with HDD, HDD will be 3 TB, HDD 3 TB. Alright, you can select 2 or 1, the choice is yours. Oh, that's a bit lame, isn't it? Because, like, it's just only mentioning DVD and CD drive. But there's no Blu ray drive in this thing. Hmm, it's very strange. So, you only get a DVD in this. By the way, is writing compatible? I would say that's kind of silly, isn't it? The audio fit function is built in chipset plus high definition audio codec. Input device, keyboard, mouse. Let's give you by the highest one. <laughs> Touchpad, no. These are lands. Take a look at them. Communication function, which is wireless LAN, Bluetooth. It's all there. Direct memory slot. Okay.
doesn't say anything about the drag mode as long as in there then you got USB, you got all these which I already showed you in the image so there's no, there's no point going back into that information again ok these are the GeForce RTX 2080 alright what you get out of this is uh, right display port connectors you get audio output will be 3 HDMI output is 1 virtual link connector is 1 in the GeForce RTX 2060 display port audio output is 3 DVI-D connector 24 pin 1 HDMI output 1 Com no nothing there LAN RG45 times 1 that's the all the audio you get from there and I usually you get anyway number expansion slots which is important PC Express times 16 times 1.1 there's zero on there. If I know. No empty in there, by the way. Nothing's empty. Why was in there? It's already in there for you. Alright. Power supply. Power consumption. Energy. It was one place vert vertically. These are the dimensions 8.2 kg. Okay, that's the weight. Okay, for your supported OS, right? You will get you could select Windows 10 Home 64 edition, Windows 10 Pro 64 edition. Okay. Main accessories is USB keyboard, USB mouse, power cable, manuals, warranty card, then wireless keyboard has blue LED wireless mouse selected, power cable, manual, warranty card, wireless reader, and for AAA batteries. All right. This is the Japanese version they got. Alright, so bear in mind. <laughs> Even the language in Japanese, you can select it to English. So you can read all that. software so this is the final part now Basic OS, all right. It's an operating system. Um, it's a Windows 10 Home 64 edition in there. All right. 
So this is my Microsoft Office. You get all these. WPS Office That's all that stuff yeah. and not Internet <laughs> The Internet What well, browser in the viewers home page uh, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer 11. Okay, you can still use Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer 11, which is good. Save and easy. Select sports stuff. Okay. Smartphone Corporation. Okay. Exchange photos and videos between your smartphone and PC. Alright. Media. Me. SPD or smartphone data transfer. Photos. Videos. Create design greeting cards, photo processing. You can use Coral Coral Paint Shop Pro 2020 SE. Edit, process, photo, videos, Coral Digital Studio. Uh, edit the videos you want. Is Cyberlink Power Cyberlink Power Director 16 for Fujitsu? You can use that. Specially designed for Fujitsu. That one isn't it? Heavy function. Let's take a look at this. Enjoy video and music. Still watch. Okay, this is to watch. You can use Windows Media Player 12. Save data DVD dash CD. Oh, sorry, command CD. Roxy Creator LGB. Play and enjoy DVD. Coral. Win DVD. What? They're using that. <laughs> Strange. Create or or edit DVD or direct disc recorder. I don't know, too much cross stuff in there. Hobbies, practical use. What a software, man. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this is about useful to your child and stuff like that. They give you this thing called FMV Kids Hub. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Create a boss code with that, yeah, and so on, so on. All right. I don't use this kind of stuff. A game. Enjoy about one one hundred times of games with Xbox Game Pass, more easy. Xbox app. Okay. We got that. My cloud. If you're really into these kind of services, you can use that. Right. It's good to read all that information as well, isn't it? in case something goes wrong. You should read all that as well. It's very important. This is coming from the company. Please do read that because it's very important. All right. So everything, all the information has been covered. 
by this official website and I am grateful from Pages to the uh, they made this great looking uh, to gaming PC for your work and graphic design needs where am I? yeah as I said this system is good for your gaming graphic design and your work purposes this system is very great and is really powerful indeed so if you're looking for something like this you can consider this option and you can purchase one of these systems it's a very unique system it is a Japanese model by the way but there is no issues even in systems in Japanese you can turn the language into English all right because even the systems we got in the UK or in the US wherever the Western countries we have you can turn them into their own languages if you look at uh, especially uh, the people from German Italy or Spain they tend to put their own language in there innit? they put their own language in their PC you know they don't like to use the English language because I've seen loads of systems that these people use they literally put their own language in there so every system whatever country you're in you can change that language yeah you can change the language and it will come in that language because it's the Windows 10 operating system isn't it what does all that it depends on the operating system what languages are included in the operating system if the Japanese Windows 10 Pro 64 version has other languages you will able to change them yeah you, you, you were able to change the language so I hope this has been quite informative to you and I'll give you a lot of depth knowledge on this video today and it's helped you quite a lot what I'm showing you today and I hope you enjoyed today's session and you will purchase this system so thank you very much for watching my video today give a like subscribe thanks for watching bye from now